welcome to the flexible beam tutorial in which we're going to show how you can achieve this effect with the beam uh, that is going to deform in function of the player's position and in function of other objects we will set in our scene in order to make it more realistic so um, let's start with the different scenes that contain our project we have one that is a really simple scene with a simple controller for those that uh, do not want to use the 3 uh, TPS controller so you can see how it's going to deform while uh, the player moves same thing happens for a two side clamped beam in which the deformation will appear only in the middle whenever we are moving and finally we have a different configuration for the limit conditions of the beam in which you can see that um, whenever the player moves the beam is going to deform because here in these points we are fixing the position but we are not fixing the rotation so we're going to use this last example as a way of knowing which are the different conditions we have to apply to the finite element system in order to um, set uh, the, the behavior of the beam in a specific way so um, the interact objects will be a, a set of objects that are in the scene that are interacting with the beam at the current moment then the contact distance is just the distance between the lower part of the player and the beam this is uh, uh, used to um, to know if the collider is going to be touching the beam or not then we have material properties and geometrical properties um, then we have the number of finite elements that we are using in our model then we have the recovery parameter that is really important because this is what is going to check how fast is going to deform um, our system so for example let's put something like uh, 0.2 and we perform a jump as you can see the beam is going to deform faster and if we change the material properties for example if we reduce the junk modulus we'll see how the beam is going to deform much more going to do this from uh, from the host position okay and let's try to make it work as you can see the beam is going to deform much more now too 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 much i will say so uh, we are using the parameters of the steel in order to to make the model uh, work properly and then this is the important point the important point is uh, how we set the clamp game objects which are going to be the limit conditions of the system so for example if we want to add a fixed point somewhere we can go ahead and go to the prefabs and add the fixed joint we can put it inside the beam we can drag it in the beam like this and then we can add a third limit condition that will be the fixed joint dragging it from the um, from the hierarchy so when we hit play what we'll have now is a different limit condition as you can see here that is affecting the behavior of all the all the beam you can do this also in uh, by script or changing it directly in in the run running uh, the running environment so for example now I'm erasing the limit conditions and the behavior of the system is completely different and you can add more more conditions and different uh, in order to achieve different behaviors so I'm going to revert this because we don't want to save this thing and we have explained a little bit how the finite elements work 
uh, now we're going to see other uh, other considerations considerations you have to take into account in order to make things work the first thing is that you need to introduce a interaction with beam script in the things you want it you want to uh, be working with the beam so for example if you want to make this character interact with the beam you will need to add the interaction beam script so for example now we're going to create different objects for example a sphere and uh, we're going to put it in the correct position something like this the last thing we have to do to the sphere is to add the contact point so we add here contact point and we put it in the base of the sphere and we are going also to limit the rotations in order to make it uh, static and uh, we're going to duplicate the spheres so you can you can check how things interact now we hit play and you will be able to see that the beam is deforming accordingly to the position of the different um, different game objects and if I take one up as I'm doing now you will see how it is not going to deform as much and if the player goes and it's uh, playing with the other game objects and interact with them it also uh, reacts to the physics of the beam.